Uh, when I started, they said, yeah, you play tennis on a badminton court. And I really had to, to start to, to change my technique, to, to work on it. And also the moving is different. You see, sometimes I'm, I'm turning still too much. In, in tennis, you, you turn a lot. You go for like eight, uh, eight. And in badminton, it's more uh, stop and go. After an accident in 1997 left her paralyzed from the waist down, Karen Suta Erath turned to wheelchair sports which led to her winning a bronze medal in doubles tennis at the 2004 Athens Paralympics. These days, she's seen as an icon of para badminton, as a double world champion and a triple European champion. And the Swiss has set her sights on meddling at the Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games. The biggest motivation is that I, I love the sport and I lo love to be with, yeah, with our team. That's a, a big inspiration for me to yeah, to be in training with, with good people that I, that I like. I like to, to have some time for, for myself when, when it's a singles match or when it's a, if it's a doubles match to, to prepare early with a partner, to talk about the, the tactics, about, about the aim, but I don't have uh, headphones or, or music usually. Yeah, I just see that I have a quiet place for, for myself, for, for our team. Um, well, the next um, half a year is already the plans are, are fixed. We, I will go to, to Thailand and to Tokyo this year. And next year um, we are planning going to Brazil, Peru and uh, Spain. And yeah, I'm well, looking very forward also for Brazil, Peru where I've, I've never been to Peru, for example, and I'm excited about that. I like South America, it will be interesting, and of course the, the qualification for, for the Tokyo Paralympic Games. I think we have a very, um, um, we have a, a great Swiss team, and we understand each other very well, and uh, my main sparring partner is Christian, him. I train four times, uh, three or four times a week and yeah, with, with Cynthia I think um, we have a really, really good ta uh, team understanding. We enjoy playing together and we, yeah, we worked a lot on how we can support us even if it's not going well or how we can give energy to, to each other and it's, yeah, I really enjoy playing with her. It's not all days the same, you know, it's quite different. I work uh, part-time, 30%, so one day or maybe a second half of a day I'm working and the others are training. I have two different training centers where I train. One is close from Basel, the other is uh, closer to Zurich or Baden. I work for the Swiss uh, Wheelchair Sport Federation and I do their um, education courses for, for monitors, for we have wheelchair clubs and then I also do sport consultation with people not that long in a wheelchair and yeah, talking about possibilities of sport, see what they, they would like to, what they, their goal is. I think it's, it, it's not bad, we get some good financial support, I could re reduce my work but of course it, it could be better, it would be great to have really a centre where we can train, train together, where we have the sports hall, fitness, fitness centre where we can sleep, there it's, it's not yet uh, ideal I think. In this second part of our conversation with Karen Suta Arath, we find out about the person behind the athlete. Hailing from Basel, the Swiss para badminton champion shares with Badminton Unlimited why she loves spending time in her hometown. I grew up in, in Basel, you know, it's a city where, where soccer is, uh, football is very popular and when I was a child I already went to, to watch uh, football of FC Basel um, and I still go to see the, the matches if I have time and uh, of course Roger Federer 
as much as possible. I watch his, his matches. Basel is a, a very nice city. Uh, what I like most is the, the people. It's also like uh, international. We are close to, to Germany, to France. People are very nice, very open. Uh, I like to, to hand cycle across the Rhine, which is very, very beautiful. And of course, I know some nice uh, restaurants where I can go for eating. I like a, a lot of food. The special thing we have, it's called Rösti. <laughs> That's uh, made of, of potatoes and uh, that's what one thing I like and of course uh, I, I love chocolate, <laughs> Swiss chocolate and, and winter our, our cheese, raclette which is known, or fondue. I really like that but I cannot eat that all the time of course so usually I, I eat quite healthy. I also eat a lot of uh, veggies of course but, but not only, yeah. Mm, if I'm home alone I, I like very much to be in nature have my, my hand, hand bike, electric one, so not really for, for training, but to go into the nature. And I like to be in the, in the forest, where it's quiet. I love very much the, the nature, the animals, or the sound. And, and there I also like to do some meditation, some, yeah, that gives me, gives me power and, and calm. We have a cat that I, I really love. He's 14 year old now, uh, Simba, and I love uh, cats in, in general. That's yeah, one thing. And then I, I like to, to spend time with my friends, especially um, going out for eating. As I said, I like um, good food, but also uh, card games. We have a special, special card game in Switzerland, which is called Yas. Play at four people, also teams of two. And this I have been doing since I'm a child and um, for since about 10 years uh, I came into, into poker, Texas Hold'em, that started already in the, on the tennis tour. We started play poker when we had time um, after the tournament or often and now I play sometimes uh, if I have free times I play with, with friends, some Texas Hold'em, I like that.